Come with me as I show you Edinburgh's luxury hotel, the Four Sisters Camellia. When you enter the Lochran Basin just off of Fountain Bridge, there is no missing these two lime green barges moored just beyond the bevy of Casperon Swans. Although surrounded by buildings, most are offices and the restaurants that were once directly adjacent to the barges are no longer, making the place quieter right in the heart of the city. The barges, the Four Sisters and Camellia, have their own gate and walkway, so it's very private. A first for Scotland, the Four Sisters Botels are self-catering canal houseboats, luxury botels located in the Edinburgh city centre and has been awarded four stars by the Scottish Tourist Board. The Four Sisters have two boats, the Four Sisters and Camellia. The Four Sisters is a purpose-built, permanently moored, static wide-beam houseboat. It's a massive 55 foot by 10 foot and has six foot of headroom. She can sleep up to four adults and two children. There's also a full-size kitchen and all the mod cons plus a shower room. It has a private all-weather deck area, outdoor dining area perfect to enjoy the sunset from all year round. The newest addition to the Four Sisters family, the Camellia and the one we stayed in, was three bedrooms sleeping up to eight adults from three private two-bed cabins and double sofa bed in the lounge area. It is docked alongside the original boat, the Four Sisters. Camellia is a wide beam boat. The main difference between the two boats is the Camellia has a larger shower room as well as a more spacious feel in general with an extra foot of head height and a more open plan design inside. On entering Camellia you enter into the kitchen galley come lounge. We were greeted with a wonderful breakfast hamper and a bottle of Prosecco. You can order various hampers via the Four Sisters website upon booking. It was porridge oats, yogurt and granola pots. It was some jam, bananas, butter, tannix tea cakes, breakfast croissants and of course the piece de resistance for me was the cinnamon swirls. The entire interior is decorated to high standard with the colour theme of yellow and green running throughout the barge giving it a warmth and a feel of easy flow from one room to the next. It is a fully kitted out and well equipped kitchen with a gas hob, oven, microwave and fridge. Wi-Fi is available throughout with 4G signal strong too. You can log on to Amazon and Netflix on all of the TVs. Everything is really easy to connect to, even Alexa listens to your commands. You'll also notice some board games. There are some homely touches such as cosy tartan blankets, bottled water and coffee table books on exploring Edinburgh. Camellia can sleep up to eight people. In the lounge there's a double sleeper sofa and then we head next door into bedroom one. This is where we have two adult bunk beds. It's plump but very comfortable. I love the porthole window and there is a padded covered board that slides into the window for curtains or to act as blackout. On to bedroom number two with the double bed which is quite high but again very comfortable. This room has a small TV and two robes to get comfy in. There's bottled water and a hair dryer etc available here. along the hallway and onto the next room which is the bathroom. The shower room and toilet is so unexpected for a barge and is a very large space. The shower is five foot high and has loads of room. It's a very modern space with complimentary toiletries. The shower is decent and you'll get a great wash in here. Right next to this is the master bedroom with a king size bed and surround views of the canal. There's also a TV in here and an additional deck at the front for sundowners or breakfasts. Even has a little mirror. Hello! The 
folks watching TV, there is some life on the canal to watch too. Obviously some docks. And a week no paddle for somebody. We chose to use this wee staycation as a date night and opted for a wee bottle of Prosecco for me and some whiskey for him, hot dogs and a night in front of the telly watching Netflix as we snuggled under the tarp and blanket. It was bloody perfect. In the morning, although the day was dreech, it was lovely to pop the kettle on the stove place up the pastries and bring the freshly made coffee into the master bedroom where we watched the canal life wake up. There was a school group of young kids with their teacher heading along the canal as well as a bicycle tour which stopped right by the barge. It's quite a bustling place to be in the mornings. The Bodell caters for your every whim from luxurious soft furnishings to the little added extras like fishing rods and wireless headphones. Amelia Botel is a delight. The price is £940 for a minimum of two nights, sleeping up to eight people. The Four Sisters Botels are dog friendly and you can hire Camellia for a one hour tour of the canal or as an optional extra part of your stay. For more information visit Four Sisters Botel, Edinburgh.